Hello everyone, I am Ayokan, Assistant Professor of Electronics and Communication Engineering Department at NPR College of Engineering and Technology. In this presentation, we are going to talk about 5G service based architecture and the network functions. So let's get started. Studying network architecture in telecommunication is crucial for understanding how communication system functions, ensuring the efficient data transmission and addressing the challenges like scalability and security, etc. It provides the foundation for designing and maintaining the robust telecommunication network. In this picture, what you see is a lot of boxes which are written in the name as like AMF, SMF, UDM and AUSF. Now, all these network elements were typically purpose built hardware and software boxes in the previous generation of network. However, in the next generation of network, all these network boxes are created as visual, virtual network function by using visualization and con containerization. All these network functions communicate to each other by using some kind of network services over RESTful API communication using protocols like HTTP2. Now, when any network function wants to communicate with each other, they typically use HTTP method or communication with each other by using some kind of API uh, keys. Application uh, API means application package interface. Now, we are going to talk about G node B or next generation node B. The next generation node B or G node B is one of the component of 5G radio network and it communicates with the UE user equipment on the radio side of the uh, transmission end and provides the connectivity towards the core network. So all the UE details are passed on the G node B from G node B uh, they, uh, they are sent to the core network. G node B is one of the component of 5G radio network and it communicates with the UE user equipment on the radio side of it and provides the connectivity towards the core network. So all the UE details are passed on the G node B and from G node B. They are sent to the core network. G node B is typically uh, have a multiple components within it which are called as CU means centralized unit and DU means a distributed unit and RU is a radio unit. Those things are also defined by open end. Now we are going to talk about AMF which is called access and mobility management function. AMF or access and mobility management function is a entry point for the core network from the radio side. So AMF are typically responsible for all the mobility management function. It also support in the uh, NAS signaling as well as providing you uh, connectivity towards the other coordinating components which is called access and mobility management function. AMF or, a, or a access mobility function is the entry point for the core network of the radio side. So AMF typically responsible for the mobility management function. It also support in the NAS signaling as well as pro it provides connectivity towards the other coordinating components. So AMF is similar to MME of the 4G network or VLR of the 2G or 3G network. VLR means visitor location register in 2G. So AMF is responsible for setting up the content with the support of ASMF providing uh, authentication details and authentication function with the support of UDM and USF and everything which has to be done with the core network will have this entry point of uh, through AMF. And next we are going to talk about SMF session management function as the name suggests this is taking care of the session management which includes the session creation, session maintenance and session termination. It provides all the control plan information to the UPF so that UPF can manage the traffic flows and it gets all those details from the PCF in the form of quality of services. So SMF is similar to the control plane policies of uh, SWG that means a service serving gateway or PWG packet gateway in the 4G network. SMS as the name suggests it take care of the session management which includes the session creation and termination. It provides all the session related details to the UPF so that UPF can manage the user traffic. It gets those details from the PCF in the form of quality of service policies so that it can give proper information to the UPF. Now SMF is similar to HGW and PGW control plane which were the component in the 4G network architecture. I hope 
UPF or user plane function is the only user point com component in the 5G core network and the one end is connected to the G node B and the user uh, is sent to the UPF via the G node B and the other end it connects the data network to connect the internet or other data networks it may be like a corporate network so UPF gets the rules from the SMF and those rules are used to enforce the quality of service to the user plane traffic I hope you understand what is UPF and next we are going to talk about UDM that means user data management so UDM uh, is a which is a typically uh, similar to HSS home subscriber server in the 4G network and it takes care of management of all the user subscription data with the support of another reciprocatory which is called as UDR unified data reciprocatory it is similar to, to front end of the HSS it provides the user data to, to the AMF for the access and mobility management and the SMF for the session management now UDM typically have all the permanent data for the user end and resides the home network and then next we are going to talk about PCF or policy control function as you all know the data is increasing day by day in the telecom and we are in the need of have a proper quality of service policy so that the data can be managed in the user page so PCF does exactly the same it's similar to PCR of policy and charging rule functions in 4G network and take care of the quality of service policies it gets all the policies from the UDR unified data respiratory and provides those policy to the SMF so that the SMF can create a proper PDR or packet data, data rules and pass on the, those rules to the PC, UPF so that UPF can enforce those rules on the user pin function the PCF can also connect to any app and can get some kind of commands from the third party application to customize some of the policies so that any particular traffic can be managed based on the requirement of the third party application server i hope you understand what is pcf or policy control function in next we are going to talk about ausf which is called authentication server function as the name suggestion that uh, authentication server function is responsible for authentication of the end user and it does it uh, with uh, support of UDM so it gets the authentication data from the UDM and provides the information AMF so that AMF will be able to complete first level of authentication once the AMF completes the first level of authentication it passes this information to the AUSF and the AUSF does the second level of authentication once it completed then only the authentication procedure will be completed so AMF is also always uh, there is a visited network AUSF and UDM always remain in your home network so because of this AUSF we also have some control and authentication events in the network home network I hope you understand that AUSF and uh, in the next we are going to talk about NSSF which is called as network slice and selection function however we are coming up with some new functions and features in 5G core is called network slicing and support these kind of functions we need some new network functions one of the network function is called NSSF or network slice selection function network slice selection function helps the AMF to uh, choose the right uh, slice from the end user network slice function helps the AMF to choose the right set of slices from the user network slice selection function is completely new network function which was not in the previous generation like 2G 3G or 4G uh, net networks it does not uh, network slice management which is typically taken uh, care of uh, orchestration of the layer I hope you understand that uh, NSSF uh, or network slices layer function and network block we are going to talk about NRF which is called network respiratory function when we are taking care of 5G based architecture and network function we have talked about new network elements which are similar to the previous generation like 2G or 3G or 4G and now the NRF network respiratory function as you all know all the 5G network functions are created visualization uh, machines or containers and those visualization machine and containers keep on changing uh, time to time all these network functions are either working as a producer or the consumer 
producers or the one who providing uh, some uh, services to their network functions and consumes or uh, one or who consuming the network services of the network function however uh, whenever producers comes up they have to publish their new information with nrf nrf keep nrf keep information of all these uh, uh, services uh, producers and provide those services to the network service consumers whenever they uh, requiring those kind of information so let's say uh, amf wants to communicate with smf but before it does smf has to publish its information to nrf whenever amf is looking for smf it will send the query to nrf and nrf provides the information about these sms uh, which are available and provide the information to amf and amf will choose one of the smf for the particular information and communication so in short nrf uh, works like uh, yellow pages for the service producers and service consumers i hope you understand what is nrf is in the next we are going to talk about nef or network exposure function as you all uh, know about 5g there are lot of application which are be integrated with the 5g network and application does exactly the same whenever these are some third party application which has to uh, get some information from the 5g core network and influence the traffic they have to connect via the some uh, api frameworks via the nef nef gets the information from the third party application provides some kind of commands a pcf or policy control function and policy control uh, function will create uh, some kind of quality of service policies and pass the policies to smf based on these policies smf will going to create uh, some kind of pa packet direction rules and send those rules to upf and upf will enforce these rules to the traffic uh, of user so any third party application can influence the network to the uh, user in the 5g core network this is successor of the sef service capability exposure function in the 4g network so i hope you understand what nef that is net uh, network exposure function is and the next block we are going to talk about af application function application function which are primary uh, primary not a network function as we all know about uh, cooperation uh, of integrating a lot of application with the 5g network and ai of the does the same so whenever the operation want to deploy some of the services to consumer uh, it uh, uh, this kind of uh, in services some kind of uh, application they can be provided by the application function one of the example of application function can be a proxy which is the part of ims uh, network architecture and used to provide a voice or video call to the user end so application function as we evolve we will see the lot of application be being built into the 5g core network will be provided to the user end i hope you understand what is application function what is the 5g based architecture network functions thanks for watching any queries and suggestions comment below thanks lot